Hello everyone to Survival Game Guide in our Medieval Dynasty series. You may be wondering how you can improve the skills of your villagers. Skills are very important uh, because they basically kind of uh, play into how productive your villagers are. The higher their skill is, uh, the more items they will produce in the game. So having a high skill uh, in a particular profession is rather important. And there's a few things that you can do right off the bat that'll make it really easy for you to tell, hey, this villager has a high skill versus, you know, another villager. And you can talk to them, obviously, but there's a faster way to do that. And that is with Inspector Mode. Now, this is a mode that I don't really use that often, but it's honestly really worth using because um, it just makes things a little bit easier to see, for one. Now, uh, if you are playing on the PC uh, to activate Inspector Mode, all you got to do is press and hold the Alt button. You can kind of see that's where we're at right now. And you can see it highlights, like, everything. And, and uh, even to the point of, like, you know, giving you details about your fields here. And it's also like, pretty good about uh, telling you, like, you can kind of see here it's highlighting, like, sticks and rocks and mushrooms and everything. Stones as well. Now, it does uh, deplete your stamina. I guess you're just, like, super focusing. So, like, your stamina is going down. Um, so that's kind of like, it's, uh, you can't hold it indefinitely, but, uh, in terms of using it with your villagers, it's a really good way to kind of see what their skills are without even having to talk to them. So if I press and hold alt again, you can kind of see as he's kind of walking away, uh, his skills there. And you can see that, uh, obviously for him, he has a skill, uh, six in farming. So, you know, makes sense for farming. Now he didn't always have that. I think he was like, like a, like a two or three when he started out. Um, but basically what you can use this for is you can go to a village where you want to potentially find some workers and just kind of go up to where the ones that you, uh, can recruit are. Again, press and hold alt to like enter inspector mode and you can just very quickly see, you know, what their skills are and how high that skill is. Cause you might find, you know, two farmers, but one of them might have a three and one of them might have a two. So, you know, it, it, it's just a quick way to just be like, okay, that's the one that I want and I'm going to bring him, you know, to my village. So, Inspector Mode, use it. It's pretty awesome for just, like, quick little looks around. Um, besides using Inspector Mode to very quickly check out skills with your villagers, uh, it's also uh, a really good idea to uh, complete special, like, NPC quests. Um, I have a few walkthroughs of those already uploaded. Uh, I have, like, farmers, hunters, quite a few. Uh, so be sure to check out uh, the playlist here, and you will, uh, you'll see those... Um, particular quest pretty easily uh but basically these special npcs are uh they're a villager and the only way that you can invite them to your village is by like completing their quest for them and then you, you have the chance of being like hey why don't you come to my village and then uh obviously if you have enough dynasty reputation and all that they'll be like yeah sure and they'll come and join you um and the great thing about these guys is they start off with a very boosted skill i actually have nimrod right here let's uh, get over here there we go and uh he was a hunter and I haven't, I don't have room in my uh, hunting hut to put him in, so he's just kind of been chilling. But he has a six just starting off, so he hasn't done like anything to increase that. So he's like doubled what a normal, what a typical villager is. So uh, having uh, special NPCs in your village is a great way to get some really great uh, high leveled NPCs right from the start. And that kind of leads into the third way to get villagers with high skills, uh, which is through um, husbandry. <laughs> I guess careful breeding, <laughs> uh, um, uh, because when you're when you have uh, these you know your grown ups and they have children, the children inherit their skills. Uh, we kind of go up to this guy here, this little guy here. Uh, we can see he has like a three in I think that's farming and hunting and he has threes in uh, everything actually. Oops, uh, <laughs> get rid of that. <laughs> um, and. Um, so, and I got that uh, literally just through, and that one has a four even. So, like, you know, uh, that's just through uh, what they inherited from their parents. So, if you can get some of these special high NPCs and have them uh, marry, you know, whatever uh, kind of skill you're looking for, they can their, their children will come out with higher skills than, you know, some of the standard villagers' children will. So, you'll have some, like, excellent children based on kind of, like, how you put your villagers together in their houses and it's also a good way to kind of like spread out your skills as well like if you you've instead of like having two farmers together for example you might want to have like a farmer and somebody who's good with diplomacy uh because that way their kid will probably inherit both of those um and then when they have kids they can you know boost those and so on and so forth so at some point your villagers 
are all going to have like really high skills. So, uh, and then and then you know that just means less time uh, with them grinding and they're and like grinding up their skill and they just automatically have those high skills. So they're already producing a lot of stuff for you and only producing more, you know, as they level up. So uh, that's pretty awesome. There is a cap, obviously, which is ten. But uh, you know, the, the the less time it takes for them to reach ten, uh, you know, the more the more that they are producing for you. So that's basically how you kind of uh, can find uh, villagers with high skills uh, easily. Um, what to look out for? Again, look for, look for those special NPC quests. I tend to get them from uh, the wife. The wife usually has them for me, but you might be able to pick them up from like other villagers in your village. Uh, it might not have to come from your wife. So kind of like you know, talk to your villagers now and then, see what they see what kind of quests they have for you, because it might be one of those. Uh, and then obviously just uh, make sure that uh, you pay a little bit more mind perhaps of, of who you're putting in houses together because the children they have together you know it could be a really great opportunity to kind of get some skills boosted um you know uh, and have a well-rounded villager so that's about it uh hopefully you found that helpful with skills i know it's kind of like more of the boring part of middle dynasty but you know if you if you care about skills and you care about production not a bad idea to kind of think about it a little bit more strategically, I would say. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.